Whenever I mention fractions and the addition and subtraction of fractions, I always get a big disappointing sigh from pupils. But it really doesn't need to be that difficult. I always try and start off with something really quite simple. For instance, one third plus one third. And a common mistake that many pupils will do is that they will simply add the numerators and add the denominators to give themselves an answer of two six, when clearly that isn't correct. If possible, I try and give them a picture representation of what we're trying to do. Here we have our one third added to another third, and hopefully from the diagram they can see that that is actually two thirds and not two sixths as before. We can apply the same principle to other fractions. Say for instance we have one fifth plus two fifths. Remembering that the denominators must remain the same, so fifths, but this time the numerators are slightly different. One plus the two is three fifths. Now the real sticking point comes when the denominators are different. One quarter plus a third can't be done in the same way. Now before I go into the method for this, I would advise that you have a quick look at my clip on equivalent fractions because that will help. I could use my picture representation once again. So one quarter plus one third. Well here I have my quarter. If I add my third to that, I can see that I get an equivalent of just a little bit more than one half. Now clearly whilst this is a good representation of how much I have, that answer of a bit more than a half isn't really good enough. So I'm going to use my knowledge of equivalent fractions to change both of these, my quarter and my third, into twelfths. I am not changing how much I've got, just how I express each of these. So now hopefully from the diagrams you can see my quarter I've now expressed as three twelfths, which I'll write there, and my third is actually four twelfths. And now because the denominators are actually the same, I can do an addition of these, very straightforward. Three plus the four gives me seven. Remember the denominators do not change. That gives me an answer of seven twelfths. If we consider the diagram at the beginning of the clip, I had one quarter plus my third, and I said that that was just over half. Placing my final section in place, we can see indeed it is just over half, but more precisely, it is in fact seven twelfths. Let's try and apply this to a more complicated example of say one third added to two fifths. I need to use my knowledge of equivalent fractions to change both of these so they have the same denominator. And one of the easiest ways to find what we call a common denominator is to multiply these two together. 3 times 5 is 15. So, how do I change this into an equivalent fraction of 15? Well, I say to myself, what have I done to the 3 to get 15? Well, I multiplied it by 5. In order to have an equivalent fraction, I must do the same to the numerator. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 15 is the equivalent fraction of 1 third, so I've not changed how much I've got. I must do the same to the 2 fifths. What have I done to the 5? to get 15. Well, I actually multiplied it by 3. I must do the same to the numerator, times that by 3, to give me my equivalent fraction. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 fifteenths is the equivalent fraction to 2 fifths. I can now do the addition. 5 plus the 6 is equal to, I'll write it down at the bottom, 11, and the denominator remains the same, fifteenths. I hope that helps.